Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here with me. And don't forget, I do have a thousand subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't yet subscribed, check out the drop down description box for the link and nip across and enter. It is a great prize. So today is my latest beauty unboxing. Um, this box, I um, pay £18 a month for it. And that is because I'm greedy and I want nine items. So this is the um, Beauty Headliners edit this month. Uh, last couple of months, you've known that I've not really been in love with this box. Um, last month, the Hall of Fame was like five samples of perfume that if you went into any per if you went into any shop, you would get a sample anyway. And I just, I think, I'm hoping that they've just been really struggling through, not that I'm hoping that they're struggling through COVID, but I'm hoping that the reason why the picks have all seemed to be things that we've previously had all cum culminating in the last two months is for that reason and that it is going to get better. Now, I have done my picks and I've done my picks really, really early this month because I have up until the 30th. I think I pick my picks, um, the re renews on the 30th of the month. So for me to have my box now, I usually get it at the end of the month. So... For me, there was a few things when I went on, I was like, I really, really want these things. Um, and I think, if I'm correct, there was a Clinique, um, let's get rid of these things. Um, there was a Clinique sample um, product in there, and I think that tipped me over the edge to get it. Now, there's a little card in my box, it's from Oskia London, and um, I love Oskia. Um, there is 15% off your first order using the promo code LATEST. So I love Oskia London. Now they have a Renaissance cleansing gel, which I absolutely love. Um, and it was the Hall of Fame, I think, this month. And it is. Um, now I've had two lots of this. It is absolutely amazing. I'm currently using one at the moment. This is what I call a Hall of Fame, not some five samples of a bloody perfume. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it's, this one's 35 ml and it's a great cleanser. I have done a video on this, so if you haven't checked it out, go and find it. It's really, really nice. I absolutely love it. It's like really rose. Um, between this and the Elemis, they are one of my favourite like cleansing balms. I know this is in like a gel form, but it is basically a balm. It is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So pleased it was there. So, the rest of my box. Um, I should get this over and done with because the last two months I've had these I really really love this cream it was there I got it again I've just finished one I've just given one to my mum to try it's the pra, uh, pra, pra P R A I ageless throat and decolletage cream it's really nice it's really expensive as well however once I've finished all my little pots I'm going to bite the bullet and buy a big one because the big tub will this one of these has lasted me like six to eight weeks so a big one will do the same so a big one won't do the same a big one will probably do all year but yeah firm favorite in my household right the next thing i got was a lily lolo and this was a lipstick in passion pink i don't know if passion pink is my color Packaging is gorgeous. However, I thought it'd be a nice little gift if Passion Pink is not my colour. Don't know if Passion Pink is my colour. It's rather pink. But it makes somebody a really nice little gift. So I got it anyway because I always like to get a little makeup item to see. Um, the packaging is really, really nice. I don't know if you see the underneath of it. I've never heard this brand, never heard of this brand. Um, and on the packaging itself, I would definitely be interested in trying a different colour. Now, that was a brush. What can I say? I love brushes. So this was the Meek, Meek, mm, My Kit Co is what we're going with. My Kit Co brush. And this was their tapered brush. It's really, really soft. It's really, really nice. Um, it's a tapered 
my tapered smudge um, I love brushes this is a number 116 I think there was supposed to be a secondary brush but clearly I peaked too early um, I wanted this brush it had to come home with me and um, the next thing I got was this one is bright bloody green <laughs> and I've been like I like the packaging um, and I've wanted it for ages so it's the uh, aloe vera um, oh, 99 percent what's it called holica holica soothing gel so for like soothing gel calms redness sensitive face um apply to dry and sensitive skin um or splitting hairs as often as needed i want to see if i've got any split ends and try it out only because i'm interested anyway um, I wanted to try one anyway. I do get sunburn. It doesn't matter how much factor 50, well, I say factor 50, I don't get sunburn, but have to make sure that I've actually covered everything. But last time I creamed the kids, went like this and ended up with a handprint and burn in between the finger spaces. Looked like an absolute Egypt. What can I say? The next thing is a Sunny Island Jamaican Black Castor Oil for Eyelash and Eyebrow Serum. It was just random. I'd never seen it before and I thought, you know what? It's coming home with me. <gasps> look, it's got a little spoolie. Oh, that's cute. Now, I still have... Oh, look at that. I still have... Um, what are they called? Like an eyelash growth serum um it's in a dropper i was sent it to try i'm still using it and it's really really good so once it runs out i'm going to keep on to this oh i'm going to be really nice to my mum and give it my mum because she's got no eyelashes um but it's an eyebrow i don't need any help in the eyebrow department um at the moment i am not not doing the best job of keeping my eyebrows apart i'm trying to i think i've killed the shape of them and yeah this is why i shouldn't be left alone to do these things usually i if i let my eyebrows grow they end up as like slugs fighting for territory so i don't need any help in making extra bushy hair no a gift for you the ultimate all-in-one daily moisturizer 25% off tan cream lib 2020 so if you want to check it out go to www.tancream.co.uk um the next thing is an intensive facial oil so it's rose hip and lavender it's by balmonds um i saw it and i was like i love a facial oil i really like skincare However, I didn't expect it to be a massive bottle like this. I don't know what I expected. I think I expected like a little tiny one. Oh, it smells good. It's quite runny as well for an oil. Dispense a small amount of oil onto your palm and gently and pat gently onto clean skin. So yeah, I love facial oils. I'm using a hemp seed oil at the moment and it's really, really good, really good. So the next thing that pushed me over the edge was this little Clinique, um, all about the eyes, reduces puffiness, uh, reduces circles, puffiness. Now I saw this somewhere and I don't know if I saw it in those, do you know those boxes that most of us didn't get a chance to get the last two things, one had Huda Beauty in and I can't remember what the other one had. Um, but I couldn't get near it before obviously the computer and everything else dying. So I think this, oh, oh I dropped it might have been in one of those edits or boxes so i saw it and i was like i'm having that clinique eye cream i love eye creams so this is um all about the eyes reduce the circles puff puffiness um and it's a little five mil so this is why i picked my box however the box picks that i've got i really really liked so that this and the Ofsky London did it for me. So this is CLE. Um, I can't really see it because it's like embossed rather than written on. It's quite cool. It's their Radiant Skin Oxygen um, Foam Cleanser. And I'm a, I love washing my face. What can I say? 
um i can't open it so i'd seen it on there and i was just like i want this i want to open it because i'm keeping this for me some things i don't open because i put them into my collection and they're very good for like giveaways or i give them to my family and friends like my sister um she's really bad with skincare so um only because she's got really bad sensitive skin she's got eczema so anything that i get that's really really natural and will ag aggravate it i always put it to one side because she's always looking for something nice oh i like this i don't know why but i really like the packaging of that it's nice it's classy it's plain <gasps> and a foam cleanser <sighs> This, um, I, had a ha I have a highlighter from CLE, a moon cushion one, it's lovely. Um, but yeah, that's a massive full size one as well. So I'm going to have to find out the prices. Um, by now, they should be up and about, and I should have done that already, and added it to the video so you will see it going along, because whilst I am filming it, I have no idea, no idea. But that was my box. So I really, really like this month's picks. I really, really like that foam cleanser when I wanted it as soon as I saw it. Um, there was no way that I was not getting that as the Hall of Fame. The Oscar Renaissance Gel Cleansing Gel is amazing. Um, like I say, I saw the little Clinique Eye um, Cream and it was right at the bottom of the page as well. So if you don't scroll to the bottom of the page, scroll to the bottom of the page. Somebody else taught me that. When I say it was Lynette. Um, the Prior Prey Pry um, Throat and Decolletage Cream. It's a must. If it's there, I'm getting it. I love the little brush. The brush is going back away. My pot. Um, so this is a soothing aloe vera um, gel. It's always good, especially when you've got children and me. Um, the Eyelash and Eyebrow Serum. Really, really interested it. Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And somebody else told me that castor oil is really good for growing um, eyelashes. So that's why I got it to try it out. Um, the Intense Facial Oil. And then we've got the Lily and Lolo and Lipstick. So all in all, I'm really, really pleased with this box. Really, really pleased with it. What do you think? Have you used any of these products? Did you get some? I mean, if you've got something different and you video on YouTube, then the likelihood is I've already seen it because I um, I love a good unboxing myself, my own unboxing and everybody else's. Well, like I say, don't forget the giveaway. Check it out. And we'll have a chat in the comments. Have you used anything? I'm really interested in that CLE um, foam cleanser. Like, comment and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye.